everyone in this video i am just going to discuss about application of peplos interpersonal relationship theory in a nursing process so it is a very easy theory and uh, it is one of the favorite nursing theories uh, among nursing students okay so uh, the name of the theory is theory of interpersonal relations and the name of the theorist is hildegard e peplo so a detailed version on peplos theory what are her various phases and uh, meta paradigm assumptions critic all those things i'll be uploading it as a separate video this video briefly i will be telling regarding her main concepts and uh, we'll straight away discuss about how to apply peplos theory in nursing process so peplos theory mainly it emphasizes the importance of relationship relationship means it is therapeutic relationship it is a interpersonal relationship so it gives more importance on the therapeutic interpersonal relationship between the nurse and the patient and uh, peplos theory stresses that many nursing problems can be overcome through strong interpersonal relations see this was a time uh, when uh, peplo wrote this theory it was a period when nurses were expected to meet all the physical needs of the patient that was their main job but it was actually peplo who thought it little bit differently and she said why only uh, physical needs have to be met okay in addition it is more on the interpersonal relationship a nurse has a role to have establish a very good interpersonal relationship with it itself can help to solve a lot of problems so that is the you know importance of peplos theory which was spelled out in a time when uh, most of the nursing care was only focused on meeting the physical needs now the main concepts that we are going to see in uh, peplos theory it all focuses on one particular aspect that is motivational interviewing enhancing that is uh, self enhancement of people for example you know uh, helping a person with uh, diabetes in order to take up self administration of insulin so that can happen through motivational interviewing helping them to grow self enhancement so it's more on you know like uh, put in very simple words it is more on interaction and counseling whereby your patients are getting motivated strength and empowered so such things so it is in that focus which peplos give importance to in her theory then if you are going to see mainly peplo believes the basic concept is a nurse should be a person who can understand her own behavior only if i can understand my own behavior perfectly i i will be in a position to help another person a confused person can never help another people i think it's a very known fact same way peplos theory she gives more importance that a nurse should be a person who is able to understand her own behavior so that she will be able to understand others behavior now she has divided her phases of uh, interpersonal relationship into four the first one is orientation phase the second is identification phase the third is exploitation and the last one is resolution phase so briefly we'll just look what are the key points in each phases the first one is orientation phase as the name indicates both the nurse and the patient are getting oriented to each other which means they meet as strangers they get to know each other and then the patient is trying to express his felt need or his felt problem to the nurse the second phase is called as identification phase as the name indicates the patient learns to identify which people or which nurses are uh, taking care of him okay uh, like the patient will correctly know okay uh, so and so okay nurse number say x uh, nurse y nurse z are the people who are responsible for my uh, care okay so the patient learns to identify that particular group of nurses and the patient starts to you know uh, uh, develop a relationship uh, which means where he is going to tell all his needs and tell all his problems and the nurse is encouraging the patient or allowing the patient in order to explore his feelings and then to spell out each and everything okay the third phase is called as exploitation phase exploitation phase as the word indicates it is to exploit uh, the nurse with 
all the care that the nurse has to give for the patient. Which in other words, it's like deriving the full care from a particular healthcare professional. That is exploitation phase. So maybe, you know, all your nursing procedures which you give to your patient, all the various health educations you give to your patient. Okay, all, any procedures, anything what you do, what the patient is benefiting from the nurse, that happens during that working phase that is called as exploitation phase. And the nurse is allowing the patient in order to exploit so that he will become well and there is a goal for positive recovery. Now, during this phase, some patients may be highly independent, some may be interdependent and there will be some group of patients who are highly dependent on the nurse. So, depending on that particular category, the exploitation phase, it progresses. Next is the last one is resolution phase. Once everything is over, the old goals all have been achieved. The last phase which they move on is called as resolution phase. It's otherwise called as termination phase because all the needs are met all the problems are solved okay new goals are projected and now my patient is able to take care of himself or the patient knows what are the goals which he have to achieve for example during discharge and uh, during discharge we give them home care advice and the patient knows and the patient is confident that the patient will be able to take care of himself so that is how a professional therapeutic relationship is terminated and that is called as resolution phase so, during all these phases, Peplo has identified that nurse plays a variety of roles. It is not only meeting the physical need, but a variety of roles. What are they? Counselor. A nurse plays a role of a counselor. She, is a, she takes up the leadership role. Surrogate role. Surrogate role is taking the place of another. Surrogate role. Stranger role. That is in the orientation phase. She is a resource person and she is a teacher. Peplo never stopped with these roles. Peplo has said in her theory, there are various additional roles like technician, being an expert, uh, giving physical care. Okay, many, many, many roles Peplo has spelled out in her theory. Now, according to Peplo, what is nursing process? Peplo said, nursing process is a deliberate intellectual activity which is guiding the professional practice of nursing in providing care in an orderly and a systematic manner. So, Peplo, we know that nursing process is a wonderful problem-solving approach where you can solve your problems in a systematic way. Peplo is agreeing with that. Peplo is saying that it is a problem-solving process and it is an orderly and a systematic manner. So, she believed that nursing process uses problem solving approach and she believed her theory and nursing process both are using observation, communication, recording. It's very simple. Objective data, subjective data and uh, what is a recording is also coming under objective data. Okay. So, she believed nursing process depends on subjective and objective. Her theory also depends on subjective and objective data. Now, why this mental health I have put here is because this is one of the wonderful theories which especially postgraduate students in psychiatric nursing can apply especially for your patients if they are interacting, if they are able to communicate with you. You can use this theory because it's a wonderful theory which is used in psychiatric nursing and believe me, there are any number of research studies which have been done using Peplos theory okay, on stress, on depression, on anxiety, etc. Now, not only for psychiatric nursing students, even medical surgical, even see in any specialty, you can use Peplos theory. Now, these are the various research topics which have been conducted. These are the various papers which have been published related to Peplos theory. We can find that Peplos theory is used in reducing the stress of hemodialysis patient, satisfaction enhancement in cardiac patients, reducing anxiety in patients undergoing CABG, gaining the trust of patients with who are abused emotionally and sexually, health of pregnant women, reducing the harms of children with a parent in jail, increasing patients' cooperation in care. So, we find that in all uh, angles, actually, we can use Peplos theory, especially when you want an outcome. Now, now let us move on to the topic, how to apply this theory in nursing process. So, in nursing process, we, uh, what to say, it's a, it's a wonderful theory because Peplo has said it in black and white. I mean, very crystal clear. This is how nursing process is compared with her theory. 
okay so we know nursing process we have assessment diagnosis planning implementation and evaluation now we know what are the steps i am not going to discuss in detail regarding that in peplos theory assessment is equal to orientation the first phase orientation is equaling to the nursing process assessment okay here because in both the cases we are going to find out what is the data collection we are going to find out what is their felt need what is their subjective objective data etc identification phase in peplos theory is equal to nursing diagnosis and planning or objective okay that phase and this phase gets along identification is equaling with nursing diagnosis and planning which means mutually the goals are set the felt need is being written clearly this is what is a nursing diagnosis and this is what is the mutual goal setting so that is the only keyword which you should remember in peplos theory the goal is actually mutually set the goal is always mutually set coming on to exploitation phases our implementation phase i told you all procedures what you do all things what you are going to teach any activity which you are going to carry for the sake of patient and taking vitals administering medications x y z everything is called as exploitation phase and the last one is resolution phase resolution phase in peplos theory is equal to evaluation in nursing process so resolution if you are going to see is equal to because resolution we studied it is termination so that is equal to evaluation in nursing process now so to summarize assessment in nursing process is equal to orientation nursing diagnosis and objective setting a mutually set goal is equal to identification plan of action writing a plan and implementation comes under exploitation and evaluation is called as resolution so these are the this is how peplos theory is equal to the nursing process plan of action is you list down all the plan okay so all the plan of activities so that activities is actually taking you to the exploitation phase so now let us look into a case scenario a case scenario uh, mrs y a 35 year old female was diagnosed with cancer colon okay so this is just a case scenario so it's about a lady who is a 35 year old diagnosed with ca colon and it was found that she is suffering from invasive adenocarcinoma and she underwent laparotomy and now she is on permanent colostomy so in the post operative phase when i am going to take care of this particular patient i have to write a nursing care plan now i'll just show a sample of three nursing uh, diagnosis which can be written for this particular patient so the first nursing diagnosis is i have written about body image say i am now taking this patient in the immediate post operative period maybe on the second or the third post operative day i am taking care of this patient and i found that okay this is what is the assessment so i think uh, you can see it very clearly assessment i have written their orientation phase nursing diagnosis identification objective is identification phase plan of action and implementation i have put it under exploitation phase and evaluation is put under resolution phase now in the care plan what i am going to show you implementation phase i have not written anything because you will have to write after you give care for the patient okay now assessment is like mrs y verbalizes negative feelings about bodily changes due to stoma and she is not at all looking at the stoma side she is expressing fear of rejection by her spouse and uh, uh, what to say regarding body image discussion was done regarding the measures to solve the discomfort related to it so what is it it talks about disturbed body image i find that my patient is not having some negative feeling she is not happy with that particular colostomy over there and and she is not even looking at that particular site and uh, she is uh so what was done in the assessment phase is uh, discussion was done so one thing what i should understand in peplos theory is i am not writing subjective data and objective data i am only writing the findings okay maybe it is a subjective data maybe it is an objective data for example subjective data is verbalizing objective data is i observed that the patient is not looking at the stoma site but i don't write it as a separate heading subjective data and objective data i hope it is clear so that is how you should write the assessment nursing diagnosis is write your own nursing diagnosis i mean based on nanda's nursing diagnosis disturbed body image related to presence of ostomy and mal order objective objective is you have to write like this one 
point goal setting was done along with the patient why because mutual goal setting is trust by peplo so i want to write that like that goal setting was done along with the patient and then what is my objective she identifies irrational beliefs and she is using new coping strategies to enhance perception about body image so that is the uh, objective what i have written in this care plan if you are going to write expected outcomes you can write in this care plan i have written only the objective then plan of action nothing new i have only written based on the care plan book i have written assess the support system encourage the patient to express her feelings praise the time each time the patient is cooperative and willing to participate in the care provide a list of support groups because patients similar patients with ostomy will help each other and that will be a great support encourage in self care assure the normalcy of her feelings assist in identifying coping strategies and help the patient to do her own stoma care and apply is care so these are the uh, plan of action which i have identified if i am going to do this i will be writing it under implementation column which is exploitation phase and evaluation how to write mrs y was free to express her problems related to body image because only because she expressed i was able to give that particular care so i want to write it under evaluation that she was free enough in order to express her problems related to body image and she expressed that she feels more confident related to handling of stoma and participating in care so this is how we write a care plan according to peplos theory it's very simple write first the headings okay the labels assessment orientation nursing diagnosis and object objective identification plan of action implementation exploitation and evaluation is resolution what is the main difference no subjective data objective data but i will write everything and uh, regarding body image and assessment i have written discussion was done regarding the measures to solve the discomfort related to it in objective we should write goal setting was done along with the patient other than that everything is the same and in evaluation you will have to write like she whether she was free enough to express her feelings and what was the finding in evaluation now let us look into an another nursing diagnosis imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements related to presence of gi disturbances say this patient uh, uh, being on ostomy she was started on oral diet and the patient complains that she is suffering from diarrhea okay because ostomy we all know that diet has a great role in the bowel elimination especially in patients with colostomy so she is highly upset and she is not taking food imbalanced nutrition related to gi disturbance and lack of knowledge of appropriate food so assessment is she verbalizes loss of appetite she is verbalizing inability to plan diet she is verbalizing about experiencing gi disturbances so discussion was done according to her nutritional needs and measures to reduce gi so that is the first thing so she is telling everything to me so we have we what to say there was a discussion okay that is what i am putting it in assessment phase in nursing diagnosis you write the exact nursing diagnosis objective again you find i have written a point goal setting was done with the patient mutual goal setting i repeated mutual goal setting is important in peplos theory and then i am writing my objective she demonstrates progressive weight gain and limited gi disturbances plan of action whatever is we plan for an ostomy uh, tell about uh, talk to her about the influence of swallowed air on flatus and what measures she can take to reduce that flatus when she is having an ostomy recommend uh, to take more of yogurt butter milk because this will have a, a reduced uh, yeah, order especially in a colostomy patients introduce foods one by one one at a time provide a list of foods for reference teach the importance of a low fiber diet or a low residue diet so implementation i have not put a separate column it's because of the space constraints okay so when you write you will have to write another column implementation and evaluation she was free to discuss problems related to nutritional status she expressed that she got relief from diarrhea there was a steady increase in weight by 1 kg over a over a week okay the last nursing diagnosis knowledge deficit okay that is one thing so the assessment is she, mrs y verbalized that she doesn't know regarding colostomy care so discussion was done regarding function and care nursing diagnosis knowledge deficit related to uh, lack of familiarity characterized by verbalization objective goal setting was done along with the patient she verbalizes colostomy function and appropriate care so that is the objective plan of action whatever i have planned written instruction psychomotor instruction 
instruction, verbal instruction should be provided. Provide information on the relationship between diet and stoma, medications and stoma. Teach about the various measures to control that order okay like well fitting appliances order free uh, measures can be taken up use of deodorants regular cleaning regular emptying of the pouch teach about signs and symptoms of complications infection blockage breakup okay prolapse hernia bleeding etc evaluation she was free to discuss her problems related to lack of knowledge and she demonstrated skills in handling and changing a colostomy pouch so now what is the difference in writing a care plan for peplo that is what as students we should be very clear one thing is i should write in that a uh, table heading i should write assessment is orientation nursing diagnosis objective is identification plan of action implementation is exploitation evaluation is resolution this should be written on the top if you are writing a care plan based on peplo then what else is the difference assessment when you write there is no separate heading subjective data objective data nursing diagnosis as usual objective when i write i will write that whatever is that the goal setting was done along with the patient i i want to make the examiner very clear that mutual goal setting was done plan of action no change implementation no change evaluation you have to write one sentence whether she was free to discuss with you regarding that particular problem or she was was she hesitant in order to discuss about that and then as you should be right now what was the improvement what we saw in our patient so that is how you apply uh, peplos theory for in a nursing process so you can also add a summary which will be really very good okay if you can add a summary it's really very good like summary is i am going to tell it in phases that is first is orientation phase so my observation mrs y is initially reluctant to talk due to her discomfort associated with the new stoma she is expressing negative perceptions related to stoma this is in the beginning okay orientation phase in the beginning and she verbalizes experiencing gi disturbances and inability to plan a diet so this was what i found in my patient in the orientation phase during the identification phase i found that mrs y participates and she is interdependent with the nurse she is expressing the need for learning to plan her diet she is expressing the need to learn stoma care need to learn more about home care of stoma and follow up so that is what i observed in this patient exploitation phase mrs y participates in learning various factors of stoma she cooperates she part participatively uh, participates actively uh, about learning about stoma care function so she is a wonderful patient okay so that is my observation so what i did and what the patient also did so that is what i observed is exploitation phase and resolution phase is mrs y verbalizes relief from gi disturbance demonstrates adequate knowledge agreed to continue stoma care she also said that she would come for regular follow up after discharge so this is the short story about mrs y okay from orientation till resolution so especially if you are going to write a theory based care plan okay especially when you are going to write your clinical assignments if it is a theory based care plan after completing the care plan you can just write like this as a summary uh, what happened in orientation phase yes points identification what was the improvement exploitation what happened and resolution what is the improvement or what is the output okay so that will uh, give us a, that will give your assignment a beautiful way of uh, applying peplos theory in uh, nursing process so in conclusion i would like to uh, say that peplos theory is a wonderful nursing theory you can use especially if you are working in the specialty of psychiatric nursing even in the field of medical surgical pediatrics obg anywhere you can use peplos theory provided your patient is able to communicate very well okay in an unconscious patient you cannot use peplos theory okay in an unconscious patient it's very difficult you can use it when you are when you want to establish a relationship with a caregivers okay if your patient is unable to speak it may be difficult to use peplos theory for all the other cases you can use it provided you can bring a change through your interaction a change in body image is possible through a good interaction and maintaining a therapeutic interpersonal uh, relationship 
നോളേജ് ഡെഫിസിറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഹാൻഡിൽഡ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ന്യൂട്രിഷണൽ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു കൊളോസ്റ്റമി ക്യാൻ ബി ഹാൻഡിൽഡ് യൂസിംഗ് പെപ്ലോസ് തിയറി ബിക്കോസ് ദ മോർ ഓഫ് ഇൻട്രാക്ഷൻ ദ മോർ ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ച് യു ക്യാൻ സി ഇൻ ദ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹൗ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുള്ളി യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് പെപ്ലോസ് തിയറി ഇൻ നഴ്സിംഗ് പ്രോസസ് ഇൻ ഷോർട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് യുവർ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ടു ഇംപ്രൂവ് ഹിസ് and self enhancement it's not only self but you know uh, a step higher okay you want your patient to learn something you want your patient to gain skill on something please use peplos theory okay it's a wonderful theory which can bring a change through a very good interpersonal relationship so thank you very much uh, for all the love and support and encouragement you give to me and i sincerely uh, pray and hope that this video is going to be useful uh, to a lot of uh, 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 viewers especially uh, nursing students okay thank you